Hi guys, I'm Fera from uh, Guitars AI and I welcome you to um, this tutorial where we continue to explore the basics of musical instrument classification using machine learning. So this time we will continue using the male frequency capture coefficients as another feature, but we will use a different classifier, which is a support vector machine. So as usual, we import all the libraries uh, we are going to use. This time I am importing Pico because I want to save a vector of audio features uh, of the MFCC so we don't need to recalculate it all the time. We can save it and then load it. And I'm also uh, using Joblib which is similar to Pico but it's from Scikit-Learn and it, um, it's uh, a way also to save a trained model so we don't need to train it all the time. So basically these are the two differences and now I'm not importing the K and N, I'm importing the um, uh, the uh, support vector classification um, library where we find inside the um, the support vector machine algorithm. Yeah. So uh, <clears throat> once again we use the same data set so we will compare the results from using the support vector machine as a classifier compared to previous results where we uh, achieved uh, five mistakes of, uh, out of 150 uh, samples. So uh, yeah, it's the same, we will get the files, prepare the labels from uh, the file names, we encode the labels, we calculate the uh, MFCC as an uh, audio feature, we, so we go every sound sample and we calculate it, this is what we're doing here. We do the standardization, which we want our vectors to have zero mean and unit variance. And here is the first difference, so I'm saving the, feature, the scaled feature vectors calculated here. I'm saving here and here. You can load it if it's already saved. So then we again, we divide our data into a train set and a test set. We still have the same shapes, the same vector dimensions as before. And here it starts the, the first um, difference because we are going to use the SVM support vector machine instead of the K nearest neighbors classifier. So in very, very general terms, the support vector machine is an algorithm that will try to find a hyperplane in this um, high dimensional space of uh, our features that this hyperplane we will divide the different classes with the maximum possible distance between the um, the classes so i recommend you to uh, go through uh, some uh, uh, documentation on uh, Wikipedia, also the documentation in um, Scikit-Learn, which is uh, the library we are going to use. So when we use uh, the support vector machine, we uh, have a choice of different parameters uh, and uh, different kernels. So for this example, I'm using the radial basis function as a kernel. Uh, there is other, you can use uh, polynomials and um, and we have these two parameters, which uh, I recommend you to uh, understand what they mean uh, in the scikit-learn um, documentation. And uh, initially I, I guessed, so I had an initial guess, uh, starting point, and uh, usually uh, in many machine learning problems you, uh, you need to guess your initial uh, initial points and then adjust different parameters until we reach uh, better results. And then we uh, we do the same way like we did before with the KNN. Another difference here is that after you fit, after you train your model, I'm saving so uh, we don't need to retrain it all the time. Then uh, we uh, predict the labels using the trained model and we have the evaluation. So this time we achieved 99% uh, accuracy. So the algorithm made just one mistake uh, compared to five mistakes 
um, when we use the KNN. So uh, everything is the same. The difference at this point is we're using a different classifier. See the confusion um, matrix? So uh, there was a mistake. It's a noble was classified as a trumpet. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I recommend to play around with different classifiers, different parameters, and uh, check you later.